if I'm understanding you right, would some of the people who came out of communism say that it exists here now, they're seeing some of the same things existing in contemporary society. It may not be top-down enforced by the government, but it's, uh, what is it, a thread that exists throughout woke capital, the academy, the, the media? Law, medicine. There's a guy in my book I talked to. He was born in the Soviet Union, came to America, became a Christian here, and now he works in a major hospital, urban hospital. He told me that in that hospital, no doctor is permitted to dissent from the transgender treatment protocol. In other words, the management of the hospital told them all, if somebody shows up wanting hormones or surgery, you give it to them, even if it goes against your best medical judgment. Now, we're not talking moral judgment here. We're talking medical judgment. Uh, but this is the form that the, one form that totalitarianism is taking. This man told me that he can't even on his um, uh, Instagram, on his social media, he never posts anything that might be the remotest bit controversial because he knows the human resources department at his hospital are watching it. So this is one small example, but this sort of thing is going throughout society. Uh, just uh, the past week since we're talking here, there was a report about a student, a Native American law student at Yale University who, um, put up, sent out a flyer inviting people to the Federalist Society, the Conservative Legal Society, to a Federalist Society mixer. Like they were having drinks, cocktails, things like that. Non-African American students at Yale reported him to the diversity dean for triggering them because being part of the Federalist Society, which is conservative, that's racist, and so on and so forth. The diversity dean handed this young student a pre-written confession to sign an apology. This is America? This is not only America, but this is the number one law school in America. All these Ivy League law schools are where our federal judges are trained, the future federal judges. This is the mentality there. This is one of the reasons, again, just one example, but the examples are legion of how this totalitarian mentality is taking over the country. Now, there's something really interesting about soft totalitarianism that bears, uh, bears commentary. Rene Girard was one of the great intellectuals of the 20th century. He died a few years ago. Around the year 2000, he wrote a book in which he talked about the Antichrist. He was a Catholic. And he said that when the Antichrist comes, he will be more Christian than Christ. That will be his, his shtick. And Girard said that some of the the... the totalitarian attitudes towards victims, making victims sacred, like whether you're a racial minority, sexual minority, whatever, if you make them sacred, you're putting yourself up there as more compassionate than Christ. It's a false gospel, said Gerard, but now, and again, he wrote this 20 years ago, he said now we're starting to see the mechanisms of totalitarian enforcement form around enforcing the ideology of the sacred victim. And uh, again, Gerard, as a Christian, said this is Antichrist. Now, he wasn't saying that this is the Antichrist. But what's interesting is that this, they're doing all this in the name of compassion, not as in Nazi Germany to promote the victory of the Aryans, of the white race, not as in the Soviet Union to you know, establish world communism and the glories of the classless society. They're doing this out of compassion, compassion for victims of racism or victims of discrimination and so forth. But what they're doing is creating this monstrous society where everybody has to live in total fear of the other.